That's, that, might, that might be a good way. Did everyone hear Jimmy? Yeah. Okay. Like, that's a good way to look at it, right? Okay, so variable sampling. So we talked about internal controls and we talked about attribute sampling. So variable sampling, as I said, is used to estimate the amount or the value of a population. It is related to our substantive procedures that we, re we perform. So substantive uh, procedures related to testing account balances, such as estimating the account balance or a misstatement um, comparing the account balance or misstatement recorded with your tolerable misstatement. Remember, your tolerable misstatement is based on your planning materiality, right? So back in the planning stage, when you set your materiality amounts, you allocated your overall planning materiality to various accounts, such as accounts receivable, such as um, uh, uh, accounts payable, Right? And that was your tolerable misstatement for that account. And so when you're estimating that account balance or misstatement, after you perform your procedures and you evaluate your results, you're going to compare that to your tolerable misstatement to determine whether or not you can rely on the amount or make the, make, draw the conclusion that the account is not materially misstated. There are two types of variable sampling approaches. Uh, monetary unix sampling and classical variable sampling. We're going to focus, I'll briefly mention what we mean by classical variable sampling, but our focus is going to be on monetary uh, unit sampling. <coughs> Excuse